what are external models external models are the third party models hosted outside the databricks hey hi hello everyone i am naval yamal welcome back to my youtube channel data master and welcome to the new playlist on the databricks generative ai so we are talking about creating an external models in a mosaic ai model serving so there are few models that Databricks supports, for example, Databricks supports Llama, Meta's Llama models, your DBRX, Databricks own model, and also Mistral. But apart from that, you can even use uh, external models or uh, third-party models, for example, uh, OpenAI or uh, Anthropic within your organization by using this feature called Mosaic AI model serving. So let us straight away jump onto the hands-on and see how we can start creating an endpoint for your external models so you can see these models are supported by the databricks but apart from that you have this model serving you can create an endpoint where you can start using a uh, external models so now we'll do a demo on how we can use a open ai gpt model inside your serving endpoint so you can start configuring it from here or you can straight away click on this create serving endpoints so for that you need to switch to machine learning serving and click on create serving endpoints you can start giving the name of the endpoint so i'll just give open ai gpt open ai gpt okay and then time to choose your entity served entities so let me just click on it and you can see it has a uh, foundational models you can choose it from your models from the unity catalog your own models so let me just go to the foundational models and it supports all this so these are built-in foundational models as i told you llama model mistral model are built in but you can also take some external models like open ai amazon bedrock google's cloud and so on let us keep it to open ai now i'll just click on the open ai azure open ai click on confirm cool then the next step is like open ai api type so i'll be using a api key from the open ai directly so i'll just take this and it's asking me for the open ai api secret key so i have already created a secret key i've explained you previously i'll just copy paste it here then we need to choose the task whether you want a chat or the completion i'll go with the chat here where you get all these models starting with uh, gpt4 gpt4 o mini 3.5 turbo and so on i'll pick up the gpt4 o cool i think that is done and moving further we have a ai gateway within the serving endpoints that helps you to enable the usage tracking so you can activate the tracking monitor the complete usage of this model you can enable the inference table so in inference tables are like you can uh, have all the metadata you will have a re online request output request everything on this inference table and it will be saved in your unity catalog so i'll just choose uh, my catalog i'll choose the schema and i'll just take it as a default called open ai open ai gpt payload so all the metadata will be stored in this inference table with this uh, table name that is located into your default schema and the catalog you can choose whichever catalog you want and now databricks model serving is really doing an amazing thing where you can select your ai guide rails so you can select your safety guide rails here if you have any uh, personal informational data if you want if you don't want to reveal that if you want to implement some safety filters yes this ai guide rails are important so now i'm not going in detail about the ai guide rails i'll just enable it we're not going to talk about input safety and output safety in the next session when we when we talk about the safety filters implementing the guide rails for llm i'll talk about the details on the ai guide rails now i'll just uh tax are optional i'll just hit on create and let us see what happens and the moment i hit on create oh cool within few seconds your open ai gpt model has been ready for serving you can see that so you can just click on the serving endpoints you should see a new chat model here that has been ready and you can start using it in your databricks 
playground by directly clicking on this and then you can click on use yeah click on use and you can start using it in your playground so here you have a open ai gpt so we are referring it to the open ai's gpt model and you can just write any query any question you wish to uh, what is data bricks let me try to run this and enter and just a second oh cool you can see here uh, it we got the output so databricks is a cloud-based data analytics platform and so on so now your model is responding in the form of text and the model is your open ai so with an external model we try to create a serving endpoints in your databricks model serving and we tried using it in the playground so that's all for this video i hope you understood how uh, you can create your own serving endpoint it might be your custom model or it can be your external models also thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and please look at the other videos on the databricks generative ai playlist so if you like the content please subscribe share it with your teammates and colleagues thank you for watching again bye bye